Hey guys, today I have another bunch of empties to review for you guys. So let us just begin where my leg is here. So this first thing over here is actually a cushion foundation pack. I use it for all kinds of foundation application and I've just realized that I don't like to use beauty blenders. I've tried to go through three or four of all those orange real techniques sponges but just realized that I prefer the Korean Air Puffs and this is just one of it that came in a pack that I bought in Korea last time from APU and I think it was relatively cheap. If I go to Korea again and if I finish all my cushion foundations packs like this one, I will buy this again. So this has like a little split here which is why it is lying in my empties now and it is gonna lie in there and go to the trash. We have a shampoo over here that I brought with me for travel and this is 80ml. The reason that you're seeing this in the empties is because it travelled back to Singapore with me because I remember that there was so much product that it lasted way more than the trip and lasted a while here back in Singapore. So definitely a lot of product that you get inside here and this is just from the brand Caratas Paris. Uh, it's just like K Reflection Shampooing Multi Protector. I'm guessing that is the name. I'm assuming they have different colours for different functions. This is just a shampoo that does what it's supposed to do. If I get it again, I will travel with it because I know it works for me. But it isn't stand out product, not like it smells great, not like my hair is extra nice after I use it. And I remember I got this in a Look Fantastic subscription box, so I think this is pretty worth it because of the size. Next up, over here, I have a nail polish remover and it took me so long to go through this one. This is my first or second one of these. I know I've bought this a couple times now and I have a brand new one now. They no longer sell this packaging, which is so sad. This is from Silky Girl. The pink one is just extra strength. They have like purple and blue one for extra something else. And this one is the Quick Clean Nail Polish Remover and rich with vitamin E. Nail polish remover is nail polish remover, you know, it stings, but this extra strength, I find that it works. It's not like instantaneous removal, but it is good enough for me. It says that it removes polish instantly, just, you know, that never is true. <laughs> I hope they come out with this format again because the huge bottle that I have is literally just like a huge sauce bottle. Nobody uses nail polish remover that way. But I'll repurchase this because this is one of the cheapest nail polish remover in Singapore. This is like over a dollar plus because I bought this one in Malaysia. If you buy this in Singapore, it's around three bucks. And the giant bottle that I got is around six or nine bucks. But it's definitely the cheapest ones in the market. Okay, more hair stuffs and I actually just finished this a few days ago. This is for hair. It's a one minute treatment for your hair and this is from Oppo. Oppo is a Taiwanese brand. I discovered this when I went to Taiwan a long time ago and I bought a little small sample size of it. It worked and then I bought this big size here in Singapore. I bought it on Shopee so that it's cheaper and I can get more discounts. This is 225 ml and it's just one of those that squeezes out. Towards the end, I find that the bottle is very good because it just squeezes out everything. The hole is big enough so I'm not always struggling trying to squeeze it like that. Everything came out easily so that's one part that I, re I really like about it. But I don't think I'll repurchase this. Instead, I'll repurchase the other hair mask that I'm going to recommend you next. Oh, actually, I'm not too sure. I wouldn't really call this a hair mask. I'll call this just a hair conditioner. And it's one minute treatment so it's really very fast and I like that I'm saving water because I'm not waiting too long for my hair conditioner to work. But if I were to recommend you, I would say pass on this and go for that one over there which I'll talk about more later because it's too far away. Next up, this one over here is actually a toothpaste and I never really include toothpaste but this one is different. This is from the brand Midan or Midian. It's a Korean brand so I'm guessing they pronounce it Midian. <laughs> It says 67%, 67% what, I don't know, everything is not in English, it is in Korean words. But I really like it because, okay, it looks like it is for teeth whitening. I feel that I can see that effect a little bit, but the taste is just very mild and I really like that about it. It's very calming and if I ever come across this again, I will definitely try it out. But I don't think that it is the most whitening toothpaste in the world. Ooh, next up, this one over here is another cleansing foam. It is inside the empties because I brought it with me on my travels and I still had so much. This had so much left that I brought it back here and I know it lasted me a very, very long time. It's from Omo Rovitza and it's the cleansing foam. I got this from Look Fantastic either in a subscription box or some special limited edition boxes because I remember this brand is crazy expensive so I would right off the bat never repurchase this again because I don't like to spend a lot of money on cleansing foams. 
it just does what it's supposed to do. Cleanses, foams up really well. And I really like those things that foams up really well. It doesn't stink. It doesn't have like a special nice smell. It's just delivered what it promised. But I don't think it goes above that. Next up, I have this tiny little thing over here because I remember I got this in my Look Fantastic Advent Calendar 2018. Wow, <laughs> you can't even see it. It is those like little squeezy tube. And this... It's really good packaging for just like a tiny little sample, but it did not come filled to the brim. So that's one thing that irks me. This is from Emma Hardy. It's the Brilliant Facial Oil and this is only 5 ml. I haven't had the best experience with Emma Hardy products because I had a oil cleansing oil top thing. <laughs> not too sure what it's called, but it's one of their most famous products. But I don't like that because I don't like oil cleansers. And then uh, I had a mist from them and I was so excited for it. And it turned my entire face red. So I gave it away because apparently I'm allergic to that. And this is just like a very normal oil. Truth be told, I probably used it once on my face and thought, meh, whatever. And then I just used the rest on my hair. And it was even just very normal for my hair. Ooh, standout products over here that I definitely recommend you to try. Okay, uh... Yeah, yeah, they're all rolling now. <laughs> so they all look exactly the same because I think I got 10 or 12 of them last year Christmas. But they all have different scents, although they look exactly the same packaging. They are from Molten Brown and this is all the Buff and Shower Gel series. And they are all 100ml so I can travel with it. I've never traveled with it because although it's 100ml, it lasts me for a long time. So every time I use that one, I just bring out a new scent into my shower. And as you can see, now I only have a few left. I really, really enjoy this. It has different scents, which is just, oh, more enjoyment for me because I highly enjoy like nice scented shower gel and like changing that out every single few weeks. First up, this one over here is the Blissful Temper Tree. I want to say this was either blue or brown color and it was okay. It smells a little bit um, herby. Uh, it's definitely not a sweet scent, uh, woodsy, um, a little bit wo old woman. <laughs> but I like it for the woodsy part of that. And then next up, this one over here is the Cypress and Sea Funnel. I'm pretty sure this was a blue color one. Oh yeah, this smells really good. It smells like a perfume, uh, very like the sea and also a little bit like a men's scent. I did really enjoy this. I recommend this to you for the meals in your life although tbh i used up all by myself my husband has his own shower foam next up this one is orange and bergamot oh i really really like this this is one of my favorite molten brown scents i think that molten brown shower gels are considered pretty luxurious in the london in the london wow in the in london but in singapore we don't have this we've never really heard of this brand so other than getting it from look fantastic i don't know where else you can buy it because i've never seen this in any stores here in singapore this is a scent that I definitely enjoyed and definitely recommend to you. It's very invigorating. Next up, this one over here. Oh, this is one of my favorites because it is delicious rhubarb and rose. Like rhubarb was like, uh, okay, but rose. I really, really like the rose part of it already. But when I started using it, I fell in love with the rhubarb. It smells like a dessert shop inside the shower. I highly enjoy this for girls. You will really enjoy this. Next up, this one over here is called the Relaxing Lang Lang. Um, Y-L-A-N-G, I really am not sure how you pronounce it. I hated this because it smells like the product from Method that I bought, which is a bathroom daily shower spray. So it just feels like I smell like I'm putting on cleansing sanitizer things on myself. <laughs> so I would not get this again. I did not enjoy this at all. Moving on over here, this gold one is, uh, I think I got it inside a Look Fantastic Advent Calendar because I remember I got one with a silver normal one and I gave it to my sister and then I got this again. And this is in Jasmine and Sun Rose. I love this because it is simply, to, in my mind, I'm thinking like rose jasmine, like rose green tea. I love it so much. It's very calming, very mild smell. One of my top favorites for sure. And that was probably the things that I enjoyed the most in all these empties. <laughs> now let's move on. This one is actually a makeup product and you won't really see a lot of makeup products in my empties because I do a lot of makeup project pens and I don't talk about the things again when I finish them. This one is from Too Cool For School and it's called the Dino Plats Eyeliner. I just bought mine in brown and I don't use it as an eyeliner. Maybe because I bought it in brown, I don't find that the payoff is that great. So I use it as an eyebrow pencil. I've been using this for the past three years and it 
it never died until one day I was marking it on my paper to film a project pen video the next day. After that, when I tried to wind it down, the whole thing just broke off. Is it value for money? Yes. Does it work as an eyebrow pencil, which is not what it's meant to do? Yes. Does it work as an eyeliner? I would say no. But I would not repurchase it because I'm quite sick of seeing this product because it just never finished. Next up, this one, I know I brought it for travels and then I had like a few pieces left, which is why it, back, it came back to Singapore with me. This is from Pixie, it's the Makeup Melting Cleansing Cloths and the pink colour one is because it has chamomile and rose in it. It only comes with 10 cloths. I think that this was pretty normal, it cleansed well. The rose is just like an added benefit because I like roses, but some people might not like that because it has fragrance added to it. It is wet enough but not overly wet so it removes everything and I'm the kind who just use this kind of things also for my whole face and also for my eyeliner and my lip colour and it did the job so I would say this works. Next up I have over here oh some same products actually I finished up a box of it and then I finished up some more of this and this is from Labotech it's the AC Tylo Intensive Care Patch for overnight use and each box actually comes with two pouches which means that I finished four pouches so far and you can put it on and sleep with it for around 8 hours. It is a pimple patch. I prefer this over the Cost RX pimple patch because uh, value-wise, it's just a lot better. I pay a little bit more for a big box, but I get a lot more patches. And each patch is a giant size one because I have a lot of little clusters of bumps on my jawline. So this kind of things just works a lot better for me. It is very gentle and it not only tries to dry out your pimple it also moisturizes it at the same time so i have like oh my goodness i think five more boxes of this i just keep buying them so you definitely know that i enjoy this now more cleansing wipes over here i have three over here because i bought a half a dozen box from shopee it was on mega sale i think i paid for six boxes of uh, six of this and the price that i paid was like a little over one packet of this in Watson's if I were to buy it in the normal store. So this one is from Simple and the green one is the Spotless Skin Quick Fix Cleansing Wipes. Uh, I don't really know what they mean by quick fix and they say that you're supposed to see better results on your skin from day one. It's just, you know, it's a makeup cleansing wipe. It removes waterproof mascara, it removes my lip colour, I use both sides of the wipes and I really enjoy this. When I was going to repurchase this, they ran out of it so I just bought again but I bought the one that was I think it was like extra water boost so it's more hydrating and I really can see a difference that piece is a lot more wetter and I much prefer that so I wouldn't recommend you to get this one I recommend you to get the water boost one although this says spotless skin but let's face it it removes your makeup how is it gonna make your face better if you haven't like washed it and put on skincare Ooh, more skincare over here, but these are edibles and this one is all from Nature's Bounty. Let's talk about this one first. I'm all done with it now and this has 60 gummies in it. It is the Sleep Gummies. So it's inside the Tropical Punch flavor. Uh, I guess it's an okay flavor. I don't like love it. I find it very fruity, so that was quite nice. <laughs> It's supposed to promote relaxed sleep and restful sleep. I think that this really works. I'm currently on my second bottle of this now, but I don't take it every night because I'm scared that I get addicted and then, you know, you need melatonin every night. So I only take it when I really need to go to sleep early because I have to wake up at like the crack of dawn the next day. My verdict is that this works. I recommend you to buy it. So I discovered that because I've been using this one from Nature's Bounty, which is the Hair, Skin and Nails Gummy. And I bought the small one before and now I simply just buy the giant hard ones. Oh, this is, has like a little typo in it, which is so weird because it's supposed to have 230 strawberry flavored gummies. I think the taste is good. It's nice. It's simply seriously like candy. You don't feel like you're getting supplements into your body and it's supposed to have biotin in it. Nails part, I don't really see it, but hair, I guess a little bit, but mostly I see on the skin. I've gone through, I want to say this is probably my fifth one, but I'm not buying it anymore because I feel that I get better effects from drinking a lot of water and sleeping crazy early. So, you know, basically lifestyle differences would be a lot more better for my skin and hair. So I'm not buying this anymore. Next up, this is the hair mask that I recommend to you. I actually use it as a conditioner instead of like an intensive hair mask that you live on for a long time. So it isn't in my hair for the longest period of time but I still can see the effects. And this is from Shiseido. It's the Shiseido Phenol Premium Touch. 
um, there's a lot of Japanese on it, so I don't really know what they are calling it. Okay, the Chinese is Hu Fa Mo. So yeah, I'm guessing they are marketing this as actually a hair mask. This is 230 grams, and I think I spent around 11 to 12 bucks because I can get discounts for this on Shopee. I remember I got a crazy deal before and it was like uh, after all the discounts, it was $21 for two of them. That is why I'm on my second tub inside the shower now and this was the first tub. Um, but actually, I've already gone through like five or six of this. This is one of my favorite, hands down, favorite hair moisturizing products like conditioner or hair mask and even one of my best friends really enjoyed this. And also when I went to Japan a few times, I saw this in Donkey and it was on like very good offer but I didn't buy it. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't because I'm definitely repurchasing this but I'm guessing that it's really one of the good sellers in Japan too. Oh, I forgot one very important thing about this is that it smells amazing. It's so good. It's not like too sweet, not too flowery. It just smells so good, really just like hair perfume. So even after I wash my hair and like a few hours later, I still can smell it. So I really enjoy that aspect about this one. Now moving on, this one. Oh, I actually filmed my sheet mask empties and this is actually a little part of a two-step sheet mask. It's from the brand Real Barrier and the red color one is because it's the acne line and these are actually acne patches. Now, I talked about the Labotech patches just now and this, I really enjoy this. But even if I want to repurchase it, they don't sell this. It is simply just like a little attachment that came with like a sheet mask for your face. I highly enjoyed this because this is so thin. I don't have it to show you obviously. It is one of the, it is the thinnest acne patch I've ever used. I have put it on and simply forgot about it. Even when I look in the mirror, it's, if I put it on that well, I can't see at all. Uh, but it's very thin, so it's a little bit tricky to get it off the package. It comes with these sizes and honestly speaking, these are quite small sizes. Uh, I wish that they gave us bigger sizes instead because this barely covers one zit. But the stay on power is just magical, so good. So that helps me like suck out things from my pimple. However, I'm all out of this now. I finished that mask that came with this so I don't have this anymore which is quite sad. <laughs> Okay, so I'm really surprised to see that I only have one of these inside this video now because this is probably my 6 or 7 one of these and I used to have a lot of this product inside my empties. Oh, that's because I ran out of the backups of this. I'm no longer buying this because I'm trying to go through my molten brown shower gels before I buy more shower gels. After I'm all out of my shower gels, I'm going to buy this again. Once again, I buy this on Shopee, that app that sucks all my money because I get this on sale. I want to say under 5 bucks for this giant size which is 709 ml and if you buy this in stores it's around yeah closer to like 10 bucks and I always buy this pale color it's a beigey color one I always buy this because it's the oatmeal and shea butter body wash I really really enjoy the scent I enjoy how it foams up this bottle lasts me very long the bottle doesn't get that disgustingly grimy after a while even though you can see I have red here because of the hot water from my shower uh, but I really enjoy this. I've recommended this so many times, I'm pretty sure you know, and I'm definitely gonna repurchase that again. Oh, these things over here, this lived in my shower too, and the bottle became like that, which is kind of gross. Oh, it came out a little bit, so like, it's all empty, but I don't know why there's like one little dot over there. This is from Nature's Gate, it's the conditioner for our teen hair. It is biotin and bamboo. <laughs> Uh, okay, I guess I can kind of smell some bamboo scent and wow, that does not smell good. This doesn't have a good scent and this is, I'm guessing like for sensitive hair and I'm thinking this is organic because I wanted to try something like that. That's why I bought it on iHerb. It wasn't the cheapest thing. This was like, I want to say 7 to 8 bucks and I definitely feel that it is a waste of my money. It isn't really like conditioner. It comes out so watery. Like those kind, you know, when you're very poor. <laughs> like when I was young, very poor and then I add water <laughs> in to make things last longer. It's that watery consistency that simply does not moisturize my hair. I would not recommend that to you. Please do not waste your money. Another thing that I would not recommend to you, and this is from Corinne Defarm. I know I got this from Lacey SG website, and it is just a gentle one. It's a shampoo, and it is in the scent Almond for normal hair, which is fine because I'm pretty sure I have just normal hair. And I was so excited for this because it's almond, but the almond scent is not strong at all. Oh, I've talked about the conditioner before, which I do not recommend. This one is the shampoo. The conditioner is like goodness please just pass on that the shampoo is a little bit better because 
uh, well, it's a shampoo. As long as it foams up well enough, I'm happy with it. But I feel that I use a lot each time because once again, it is a very thin formula. So it's just like spending money way too fast for a shampoo. <laughs> This one over here is another makeup product because this is actually a mist. It's just like a normal mist but I use this not for skincare but for makeup setting at the bottom part of my face and also hydrate it at the same time. This is from the brand Keep Cool and the green one is Keep Cool and Soothe. I'm not sure about the soothe part because I find that all mists, they soothe my face. <laughs> so I'm guessing this one is like extra soothing. It says that it's 3-in-1 fixant. Oh, so actually this is marketed as a makeup uh, setting spray. It's a makeup fixer, calming essence and moisturizing mist. It came in like a separate layer so you shake it out and then the product becomes tinted this kind of green which I think is very unique. I brought this with me to London, Paris and like Korea or like other countries like that. It lasted me a long while and I highly enjoy it because this bottle is short and fat. I travel with it on the plane, it doesn't leak. Even this part over here is very well made. It doesn't even leak inside here too. And the mist is pretty fine. I enjoy it, but it isn't the most fine nozzle in the world. If I pass by it in Korea again, and if it's on sale, I'll definitely buy it. Next up, this one over here. Wow, this took me a really, really long time to finish. And I got this in like a Look Fantastic subscription box. It was just a normal subscription box, but this product huh, lasted me so long. So definitely value for money. This is from the brand Polar. And I remember Polar, they have all this like berry scent because this one is the hand cream, genuine lab land cream with three Arctic berries. Uh, I don't think it smells like the sweetest scent in the world, but it's definitely a very nice scent, yet not too sweet that it gets sickening. This is only 25 ml, but this lasted me forever. This never ended because I know that I never really used this when I'm back in Singapore, so I know this really traveled with me to many cold countries. I remember it traveled with me during winter time when it literally was almost snowing. Like we never really saw snow fall, but uh, it was always just like close to snowing, that kind of cold weather. And I use this everywhere on my hands, even on my nails, and I think it works well, but I will not repurchase it because it's not like the most moisturizing or it's not like it smells the best. It's just very standard kind of hand cream, so I won't be buying that. Next up, this one over here is a tiny little sample size and I know my sister passed this to me. It's from Bifesta and I was really excited to try it because way before I discovered all those like simple wipes or face shop wipes, I was always buying Bifesta because that's what my second sister used and I just asked her for brand recommendation. Well, the Bifesta micellar water really does work but I'm just not into using uh, cotton pads and those kind of removal matter anymore. This one is a little bit different because this one is the eye makeup remover and this really works too. I use my wipes for my eye makeup remover to be honest. I also use this for lip makeup remover so I don't need this kind of products but if you do I definitely recommend this to you. Next up this product over here it is from Daft Man so obviously I never used it but it's inside the project pen. No this is not a project pen this is an empties video. It's inside this video because my husband who finishes products always runs to me and say, oh, can I join your video? Can I join your declutter, your project pen, or your empties video? So here you go. This is for my husband. I'm very proud of him because he finally finished up one. Can he please hurry up? Because half of our bathroom cabinet is all of these backups. So if you're looking for like a deep clean body and face wash, well, you know, man, one thing for like top to bottom, I'll recommend this to you because he really enjoyed this. He enjoyed this so much that uh, I think we bought it off Amazon because they don't sell it here in Singapore. Ooh, okay, let's not miss out this tiny little product over here. Oh, this is not actually a face product, but it is another one of those Korean face puffs. This is just one that came in my cushion foundation, which I'm currently using. Now, that is very weird cushion foundation. Although I really enjoy it, it's probably my favorite cushion foundation. The price you paid for it is, um, it comes with an extra pack instead of an extra refill, which is so sad. So that one point about it, I don't really like it, but... I definitely needed it because I'm chucking this out and I've moved on to my second pad. This is quite a hard pad, but I use it because, you know, it came with the cushion foundation. But I definitely prefer my AP over that, so I definitely would not recommend you get this, even if they do start to sell it in like an individual pack. I mean, it worked well, but you can definitely see the amount of foundation over here. Oh, and it really like clings to like all those little eyelashes too on my face. So not the best pack in the world. <laughs> Next up, over here, I have four boxes of this. I always have a few boxes of this inside my empties video. And this is simply from Daiso. So when I buy it, it comes in a two pack like that, which is why I have a lot here now. I still have a lot in my closet, so I'm not going to be 
repurchasing them but I've already repurchased them and it's just from Daiso each box is 90 pieces two boxes 180 pieces for two bucks and it's just a Japan cotton puffs they have many different kinds but this is still my favorite one cotton puffs a fancy name is basically just like a cotton pad it's not the fattest cotton pad but I like that it is non-woven sheet and I like that it is side silk so it doesn't leave a lint on it no matter how hard I pull on my face and I use all those like exfoliating toners which I feel kind of do eat at the cotton puffs but they don't break or like start to have little feathers come out from them so I've been repurchasing it and I will continue and that is it for my empties video I hope you enjoyed this this is probably the fourth one of this I'm going to assume I've done a couple empties video before which I will link in the back of this video and I have a playlist that is simply just like empties playlist if you're interested to check out more products I have highly enjoyed empties videos because the person is giving you a review of a product that he or she used up so definitely a good idea of whether he or she likes it hopefully this was useful for you so you know some products that you were thinking about how they are actually like how they work for me whether you want to buy them or not and also don't waste your money on the things that simply was filled miserably as a product and i'll see you in the next one bye